it's Sam. So today I have a tutorial for you guys that is just the eye look. It's super quick, so simple. I wore it in my vlog the other day and I had quite a few people ask me what I was wearing. And it's honestly guys, the easiest makeup tutorial or like the easiest eye tutorial ever. I'm just gonna be showing you the eye. This is not a full face tutorial just because I really just wanted to focus on the eyes and just show you this really quick and easy makeup look. Please share if you find this helpful with a friend. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, if you like these kind of like really just like to the point, like either just a lip or an eye and it's not like a full face, let me know and I will do them for you more. Um, sometimes it's nice to just kind of like focus on one item versus the whole face. So I hope you guys enjoy this look and I'll see you in my next video. Keep on watching. Bye. The first thing that you're going to do, I've already put my brow on and then for my highlight, I use the same thing I always use which is Gerard Cosmetics Grace. This is their um, star powder, and it's just like the most perfect brow bone highlight. I still like a shiny brow bone. If you don't like it, then you can always use something matte. This is the S20 Makeup Forever Aqua Eye Pencil. This is such a beautiful color, guys, and when I put the next product on it, it's just no words. So, these are really, really, really like, once they're on, you can't really move them. So here's what you need to do. You're basically just going to you know, It's weird, my eyes have gotten so sensitive as I've gotten older. So I do quite a thick line, so it doesn't even have to be perfect, but basically just like that and then try to get as close to the base as you can. But we're going to be putting something over the top of this. You just want this to be thick enough so where you can actually see it because once you put the sparkles over, it really pops. Oh, I just sprayed a perfume and I totally smell like England right now. It's so amazing. Kindness from the Metamorphosis palette from Danny, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, and it's just got this like amazing sparkly blue. I love it. Um, so you're gonna get a fluffy brush. I feel like fluffy brushes work the greatest. This is the M433 from Morphe. So you're just gonna kind of swirl it around in there first. Then you're gonna put that into the crease. By swirling it into the product first, you won't get quite as many sparkles so that you can just kind of like create your crease color but it still has a bit of a glow to it. And then I'll show you the trick with these for when you want to really get the sparkle on there. But I just don't want like a matte color in the crease with this because it was just so pretty the way it was. And I think, you know, sometimes you don't want to use like 5 million eyeshadows. Like I get that it's exciting to try and use like as many eyeshadows as you can possibly use, but let's get real ladies. When you've got kids, no one has time for that. So you want to be as quick as possible. That's my motto. You're gonna get your same brush and you're really just gonna scrape it like down in there and that's how you're gonna get as much sparkle as possible and then you're going to place it just in downward movements on top of the rest of your lid. And by doing it that way, it picks up so much product that you really do get like that amazing, sparkly, delightfulness glow. And then you can see, hopefully, this camera doesn't zoom in anymore so I'm gonna have to like... Can you see how it sparkles over that blue liner? The blue liner just intensifies it so that you kind of have like a different look. It just looks like extra kind of like metallic over the liner. And that's why I love doing it this way with the liner. And then it kind of just gives it like, okay guys, so you can see how gorgeous that is. And over that liner, it just picks up the light so well, it just pops it. And you could use any kind of liner with this. You could use a green liner, you could also use a purple one. Even like a burgundy or kind of reddish color would be really pretty as well. Anything that kind of has like, it would bring out the color. But by putting the blue, it really does just kind of like pop that liner underneath. Oh. I'm getting ahead of myself. So next you're just gonna get a cream color br brush. This is the E58 from Sigma. Love this brush. This is like so good for doing. If you have very sensitive under eyes like I do, the pencil brushes can sometimes be a little bit too sharp and it stabs you. Um, even when they're really soft, like my eyes are just really sensitive. So I like to use this because it's really super soft. And then I'm just gonna look up 
add a little bit more just at the corner. And if you really wanted to like make this look super nighttime, you could also put liner on the inner corner or on the uh, water line as well as on the outer corner, but I want to still keep it kind of daytime appropriate. So I'm not putting liner on the bottom, but you can totally take this to nighttime so quick and still just keep on using two products. Okay, then you're going to get a pencil brush and uh, any kind of highlight that you like that is your favorite. I personally like Fanny Pack from ColourPop. This is not sponsored by ColourPop, by the way. I just wore this in my vlog and so many people asked me what it was. So, now you know. So Fanny Pack is just a really great highlighter for that inner corner for really giving you that really like white pop. I just love it. I'm gonna try a new mascara out today that I just got because I have, I have my long comb, the white base is gone. I'm so sad because it's my absolute favorite. But to die, to die, to die, we're gonna try out the Smashbox. This is a photo finish lash primer from Smashbox. I have not tried this one, I don't think. So let's give it a go. It just looks like this, so it's just white. You know that it's just the base. Let me get my eyelash curlers. Oh my gosh, I just love this eyeshadow. If you feel like you need to deepen up your crease a little bit, you can. Also, if you do want to have like a matte color in the crease, you can also do that too. Do you ever have like one eyelash, one eye that like curls so much better than the other? Because I do. Oh, fiddlesticks. It's a rubber brush. I'm nervous about this, guys. I don't like rubber brushes. I feel like they try to kill me. Oh, God. Okay, I can't see that far. Getting old sucks. Ah, uh, it does try to kill me. Darn these rubber, why do they make rubber brushes? They are so sharp. It's like, it's like trying to put your mascara on with a darn shark mouth. It's some kind of flower eating plant, bug eating plant. Snapdragon or whatever those things are called. Fly snap. What are they called? Venus. Venus flytrap. It's like putting your mascara on with a Venus fly trap. It is scary. Now I'm gonna try these Smashbox Indecent Exposure. It's like, put some clothes on girl. Ooh, oh, oh, look at this. The, it's got a velvet top. That is fancy. That's the fanciest mascara ever. The velvet is gonna attach every single kind of piece of dirt in the world, but it looks good when you first use it. I mean, that's quite fancy. Oh, it feels so good to hold. Please don't be rubber. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's see how this works. It's a really little tiny, like, just wand. It's not rubber, though. It's just a nice, soft, like, it almost looks like velvet, is it? I don't know. It's definitely a brush, though. I like the brush a lot. It's really thin. It's nice and long. There's no grooves or anything, so I feel like it's one of those that you're not going to get mascara all over your entire dang lid. That drives me crazy when they're, like, so big that it's just like all over and then you ruin all your eye makeup and you're just like, why? This is pretty nice actually. I can't say it's like the most dramatic mascara in the entire universe, but it does do a good job of like lifting and separating. Sounds like a bra. It like fans them out nicely. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I love the, the packaging. That velvet to touch is like so nice. It's definitely good. I think there's ones out there that are slightly more dramatic if you like like a really good super dramatic lash. However, for every day, like if you're not super concerned about having like ridiculous lashes, this is actually quite nice and I do really like the packaging 
Oh, it feels so silky to the touch. Primer did a good job, but it's just a little bit stabbish. So that is the tutorial for the eyes, guys. It's so simple. Um, it's honestly, these are the type of makeup tutorial or makeup that I do on a daily basis because I don't have, I don't wanna spend like a bunch of time doing my makeup. It, it's just not cool. When you have kids and they're all waiting on you, it's just like you wanna be done as quick as possible. So usually most of the time I will wear stuff like this where it's just one shadow. It's usually ColourPop. I have lately been using the Morphe um, palette, but usually it's like a ColourPop shadow. I put it all over and then I put a, a brow bone and that's it. Um, this is just one extra step by putting that liner, but like you saw, it was just quick, like you don't have to be precise, no wing or anything. Just stick it on there, make it thick enough to where it's gonna pop when you actually like, you know, move your eyes. Stick that one color and you're done. And it's so easy and so quick. Super fun for the summer too, because it's fun, it's bright, it's colorful, but it's not like ridiculous and it's so easy to do. Like you cannot mess this up guys, it's so simple. So, I hope you guys found this helpful. For my lip color that is like probably all over my um, Invisalign right now, I have on Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked with Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in Rush around the edges to kind of give me a little bit of dimension. And then I have the new Vice Lipstick in Naked on top. I'll just lift it up for you guys. How beautiful is that? And that's all I have on. So I actually really like it. The formula of this lipstick is really, really nice. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Ah, I just wet myself in the nail. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a sweet comment. And don't forget to leave me a big old thumbs up. Thank you guys. Bye.